So, you've stumbled upon a video that pulls back the veil on the world's most exclusive universities in an unflinchingly candid way. Gazing into venerable corridors filled with the descendants of legacy families whose fortunes have been intact for generations. Whether it's the allure of Ivy League intellect seen in movies like Goodwill Hunting, or the cerebral intensity versus pedigreed prestige of the social network, society's interest in these storied places of higher learning is ever-present, and now you're part of that audience. But what makes these universities so sought after and unreachable? What mysteries are tucked away behind their grandiose facades? In today's episode of Old Money Luxury, we'll unravel those questions and delve deeper, offering you a meticulous examination of why old money families choose to enroll their offspring in the world's pinnacle of academic institutions, how they master the dauntingly complex admissions protocols, and towards the end, we'll reveal the top eight universities you'd consider for your heir if you envision them as a future Nobel laureate, world leader, or trailblazing entrepreneur. For, as Abraham Lincoln once remarked, the philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. So let's venture into this exclusive domain and find out what the philosophy of the future will hold. When it comes to old money families, education is not merely an academic endeavor. It's an intricate social experience, a formative period, and a training ground for the upper echelons of society. Universities like Harvard and Oxford aren't just centers of academic excellence. They're the forge in which a specific cultural and social ethos is shaped and passed down. So what makes these prestigious universities especially alluring to the world's wealthiest families? It's a complicated mix of factors, a cocktail that proves irresistible to the elite class. At institutions like the University of Cambridge or Stanford, students aren't just receiving an education. They're getting primed for future leadership roles, learning to navigate the corridors of influence with skill and elegance. From their first day, these students interact with peers who are also heirs to immense wealth and power. Bonds form in lecture halls and during social events, eventually turning into business alliances, political affiliations, and sometimes even matrimonial unions. Take, for example, the iconic Kennedy family in the United States. Many members attended Harvard University in Massachusetts, gaining not just an education, but a whole network of influential contacts and friendships that would go on to serve them well in political life. At these elite institutions, students acquire more than just bookish knowledge. They imbibe a sense of social responsibility, ethical duty, and analytical thinking, skills that later become cornerstones of their public and private lives. As the old adage advises, it's not just what you know, but who you know. And these esteemed universities are the ultimate platform for cultivating such valuable networks. Understanding the allure of these educational powerhouses for the world's wealthy, it's worth exploring how they sustain their exclusive status while attracting the creme de la creme of student talent. Firstly, the admissions process is stringent. Aspirants face numerous hurdles and tests designed not just to identify academic prowess, but also to gauge qualities like leadership, integrity, and resourcefulness. For example, Cambridge values not just academic aptitude, but also innovation, a quality mirrored in its diverse student body. Oxford, meanwhile, places heavy emphasis on individual character and the potential to contribute to their storied history. The tuition fees can be astronomical, Harvard's annual cost, just for classes and nothing else, easily exceeds $50,000. However, for these elite families, it's a long-term investment in their children's futures and the preservation of their family's social standing. Legacy additionally plays a role. Yale and Princeton have histories that span centuries and have been alma maters to numerous presidents, prime ministers, and industry leaders. The weight of that heritage is compelling for families that have long-standing traditions of attending such schools. And then there are the amenities. Institutions like Stanford not only offer world-class education, but also boast sprawling campuses featuring state-of-the-art research labs, performing arts centers, and athletic facilities. And international campuses like Sciences Po in France or ETH Zurich in Switzerland often come with added allure, such as cosmopolitan settings and the promise of mastering other languages and cultures. And now, certainly, if you've expertly navigated the intricate social landscape, 
secured your financial resources, and are now on the cusp of selecting an elite university for your heir or heiress, you'll want to consider the following list of top-tier institutions. Let's start with the eighth on the list. Number eight, Princeton University. Princeton University stands as a beacon of scholarly distinction and societal clout, attracting not just promising students, but heirs to families of long-standing affluence. With a ranking that places it at the near zenith of American education, it's a locus of transformational experiences for the offspring of the elite. And Princeton's academic standards aren't just high, they're prodigious. Each undergraduate grapples with the intellectual challenge of composing a senior thesis or spearheading an independent project. This dedication to deep exploration elevates a Princeton diploma from mere parchment to a symbol of rigorous intellectual stamina. The alumni list of Princeton is a formidable cadre of presidential individuals that includes the likes of Woodrow Wilson and James Madison. These figures lend a blend of academic and political gravitas that enriches the institution's allure. Briefly, even John F. Kennedy was part of this prestigious environment before shifting his academic journey to Harvard. And unique to Princeton are its eating clubs, dynamic epicenters that transcend mere dining. These hubs are crucibles where the heirs of prominent families mingle and forge connections, shaping the complex social dynamics that are integral to the Princeton experience. Legacy admissions further characterize Princeton's social alchemy. A striking 30% of applicants with familial ties to the university secure their place, compared to just 5% of the broader applicant pool. This practice not only sustains the ambience of generational wealth, but also underscores Princeton's unwavering commitment to intellectual excellence. Number 7. École Normale Supérieure Situated in the vibrant heart of Paris, the École Normale Supérieure, or ENS for short, embodies an unparalleled standard of scholarly vigor and discernment. Mirroring the exclusivity of the Ivy League or Oxbridge, its admission protocols are a gauntlet of mental and academic challenges. Candidates first endure a meticulous application screening, later advancing to a series of demanding oral and written evaluations conducted in the cultural hub of Paris itself. Such stringent measures have anointed ENS as the crucible for France's most promising minds. And the ENS alumni roster is a veritable constellation of French intellectual luminaries and influential statesmen. Among its esteemed graduates are Nobel laureates like Henri Bergson and Pierre-Gilles de Gênes, as well as groundbreaking mathematician Marie-Louise dubré jacotin and provocative philosopher Louis Althusser. The institution also claims the intellectual lineage of figures like Raymond Aron, a cornerstone of post-90s French conservative thought, and the iconic Jean-Paul Sartre, whose influence extends across literature, theatre and philosophy. Thus, ENS doesn't just produce alumni, it shapes the very ethos that defines France's academic and intellectual spheres. Number 6. University College London University College London, or UCL, situated in Britain's intellectually fertile grounds of Bloomsbury, boasts a legacy steeped in the traditions of the avant-garde Bloomsbury set. This illustrious group of artists and thinkers deeply influenced the founding ethos of UCL, commitments to academic ingenuity and accessibility that remain pivotal today. The institution's stringent admissions process corroborates its commitment to unparalleled academic standards. Each year, this university attracts an avalanche of applications, with only those meeting or poised to meet the rigorous academic prerequisites receiving consideration. This discerning selection leans towards a demographic of societal privilege, as statistics indicate a higher acceptance rate among applicants from more affluent backgrounds. Financial endowments and sponsorships also bolster University College London's academic and research standing, though specific details remain confidential. Generally, well-endowed universities tend to invest more in academics, student services and administration, enhancing their exclusivity, but not necessarily their size or diversity. And, in the realm of social and professional networking, it doesn't lag behind. Organizations like the UCL Business Society provide a slew of opportunities for social mobility, from career application workshops to intimate dialogues with industry magnates. These societies create a fertile ground for ambitious students to enhance their professional prospects, interfacing with representatives from high-caliber companies. 
Therefore, University College London is a lovely addition to the web of power and prestige traversing the streets of our lovely capital. Number 5. The University of Tokyo Since its founding in 1877, the University of Tokyo has been Japan's citadel of educational excellence and social prestige. Often dubbed Asia's Ivy, the university has magnetized Japan's most venerable families, creating an enclave of privilege and exclusivity. The institution's sprawling reach includes a rich array of specialized schools, making it a holistic research university. A glance at its alumni, prime ministers, eminent architects and scholarly luminaries reflects the university's influence in shaping the upper echelons of Japanese society. Thus, for the offspring of Japan's old money families, matriculation here serves as a vital bridge to safeguarding their future influence and status. And the campus landscape is absolutely brimming with exclusive clubs and societies, from athletic contingents to cultural cohorts that serve as networking hotspots. These organizations act as social crucibles where Japan's elite youth forge connections, laying the groundwork for future alliances and power dynamics. Further adding allure for old money families is the university's robust link to Japan's corporate titans. Its division of university corporate relations fosters a climate of innovation and entrepreneurial prowess, closely aligned with companies driving societal change. This corporate synergy translates into unparalleled internship and job opportunities, fortifying the career trajectories of these young socialites. Therefore, if you want a taste of the Ivy League with the futuristic brilliance of modern Asia, the University of Tokyo is probably your safest bet. Number 4. The University of Cambridge The University of Cambridge is an iconic pillar in the realm of scientific achievement, having nurtured luminaries like Robert Oppenheimer, Sir Isaac Newton and Alan Turing. Groundbreaking discoveries, such as the unveiling of the structure of DNA and the advent of the first programmable computer owe their origins to this scholarly haven. And beyond academia, Cambridge is a nexus of covert social networks. Elite societies like the Cambridge Apostles and the Pitt Club are the exclusive preserves of the influential, serving as venues for forging alliances that transcend collegiate life. Now, in matters of social elegance, Cambridge reigns supreme. The May Balls are opulent black tie affairs hosted in the sumptuous courtyards of its many colleges. Complete with orchestras and fine dining, these events are magnetic to Britain's social elite, offering unmatched avenues for networking. But Cambridge's clout isn't confined to its picturesque campus. It ripples through the corridors of British and global politics. Its alumni directory reads like a roll call of the nation's political hierarchy. From former Prime Minister Sir John Major to ex-Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg. And within Cambridge, each residential college, like Trinity and King's, is a unique microcosm of tradition and culture. Whether it's the academic gown-clad formal dinners at Trinity or the communal events at King's Chapel, these residences deeply influence a student's social and academic trajectory. Thus, undoubtedly, there are few institutions in the world that scream old money, like the University of Cambridge. Number 3. ETH Zurich This legendary university, renowned as Switzerland's academic titan, wields an influence that transcends the scholarly world. Though not directly verified, the institution's prominence in a nation famous for its banking magnates implies a likely symbiosis. Switzerland's financial sector has evolved since the 18th century into a sophisticated global entity, and ETH Zurich could very well be an educational stopover for scions of these banking families, thereby enriching its own prestige. Furthermore, the institution excels in global partnerships, forging bilateral accords with academic pillars worldwide. Take, for instance, the Center for Law and AMP Economics at ETH Zurich, which engages in shared research and teaching endeavors across continents. It also aids researchers in connecting with industry stakeholders, facilitating workshops, and organizing events that nurture interdisciplinary study. As for its illustrious alumni circle, none other than Albert Einstein attended the school. And additionally, figures like Nobel laureates, such as Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen and Charles Edouard Guillaume, have embellished the university's global standing. These high-caliber graduates have left unforgettable imprints on their respective domains, thereby elevating the school's esteem. Number 2. The University of Oxford 
The University of Oxford, arguably Britain's most famous university, has served as an incubator for the country's top echelons for literally centuries. And a staggering number of British prime ministers and heads of state have been groomed within its historic walls. Particularly noteworthy is the philosophy, politics and economics, or PPE program, often considered a stepping stone for aspirants to positions of authority. This degree serves as more than an academic course, it's a launchpad for those seeking to ascend both political and societal hierarchies. Additionally, within Oxford's secretive corners lies the Bullingdon Club, a dining society originating in 1780, notorious for its opulent feasts and extravagant behavior. This club has become a formative arena for Britain's political trailblazers. Another feather in Oxford's cap is the Rhodes Scholarship, founded in 1902. As the eldest global scholarship initiative, it lures exceptional talents from around the globe to study at Oxford. Despite its founder Cecil Rhodes's contentious history, the scholarship's prestige endures, highlighted by the significant global impacts its scholars have generated. Oxford is also rich in time-honored customs frequented by British nobility. The High Table, a medieval dining rite for university seniors, facilitates genial discussions among participants. Oxford's unique exam rituals involving different coloured carnations add to its characteristic allure, reinforcing its standing as a cornerstone of British educational culture. Number one, Harvard University. And topping our list, quite naturally, is Harvard University, founded in 1636. Serving as a centre of American intellectual and social influence, Harvard has educated an impressive roster of influential figures in American history. Presidents John F. Kennedy, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Barack Obama all walked Harvard's storied halls. Industry icons such as Bill Gates, who dropped out to found Microsoft, and Mark Zuckerberg, the mind behind Facebook, likewise spent time at the institution. And Harvard's legacy admissions policy continues to draw America's old money families, reinforcing its allure as a haven for the elite. Households with surnames like Rockefeller, Roosevelt and Kennedy are often recurring characters in the student directories, a nod to their generation's long connection to Harvard. Furthermore, the social architecture at Harvard is intricately layered, with final clubs standing as the pinnacle of exclusivity. Clubs like the Porcellion, founded in 1791, and the Fly Club, established in 1836, serve as both social outlets and networking hubs. These organizations are much more than mere social circles. They are breeding grounds for future leaders in politics, finance and entrepreneurship. And beyond the classroom and elite social circles, Harvard offers an array of organizations, sports teams and extracurricular programs. These opportunities serve as conduits for students to build far-reaching relationships and networks. These connections often extend far beyond the university's Cambridge campus, providing a launchpad to unparalleled avenues of power and influence. Navigating this intricate web of opportunities is a skill unto itself, one that can set the stage for a lifetime of influence and success. And now we'd like to see your thoughts on this list in the comments. If your bank account allowed it, which of these universities would you want to send your child to in order to walk the same hallowed halls as future presidents, prime ministers and billionaires? We look forward to your commentary and as always, we genuinely thank you for your continued viewership here with us at Old Money Luxury. Cheers. Until next time.